Okay, so this is first look at Wii on a Raspberry Pi 5. And uh, the audio is a little bit slow, and the gameplay is a little bit slow as well. But it's nice to see it working. Let's quit out of this and show you what the setup is. So on top of my monitor you can see I've got the Wii Motion Bar. This is the May Flash Dolphin Bar, which allows you to use a Wiimote with it. Uh, and I, also the motion controller is supported as well. I'm also using my light gun for some of the, the games, this adapter that you can put it in, which works fine. So here's my Raspberry Pi 5, uh, still using that same cooler, uh, still using the Raspberry Pi 4 adapter, so I'm not overclocking at the moment, so obviously we can get a better performance from overclocking. Uh, you can see I'm using a dock, uh, which has got my M.2 drive, which I'm actually not using because I'm running everything from the SD card at the moment. So in the options and controller settings, I've enabled, you can see the Wii Bluetooth adapter and both Wii remotes are paired to it. I've got a real balance board connected, so the Wii balance board, and I've turned on continuous scanning. So let's try a bit of Wii Fit Plus. So all of the menus seem absolutely fine, the sound is fine as well. Okay, first error. Reasonably straight. And things like Wii Sports Resort is brilliant. So what's my BMI? Oh, just, just, just scraping it as normal. <laughs> I've scraped in by point, point two, point zero two. Right, next. Okay, we'll go with a bit of this one. That's working. That feels all right as well. It doesn't feel particularly slow. The audio is still a bit strange. Yeah, it's definitely running a bit slow. But it's still working. So I haven't got the percentage up there to show how much slower it is at the moment. Okay, so I think what we'll do is try another game. Can we make that? Oh, I think it slowed down then. <laughs> So, home, Wii menu, see all of this stuff works as well, look. Although there is no Wii menu to return to, but if I press escape, you can stop the emulation. And let's try something else. So there's Dave Mirror BMX Challenge, which is definitely not one of the best Dave Mirror games uh, by a long shot. Oh, if I go full screen, right, okay, so when I go full screen, I lose all that information at the top, and that's probably worth having on, so... Let's try that again. I'm just gonna do it in this view. Maybe if I move this up a little bit, we can still see the taskbar and the, yeah, that's better. So this is one of the games that really tries to use the motion controls, but kind of fails because it's, it's just not very responsive. But I'd say it's easier to run, so it's good to show some of the games working really quite well on the Wii, even without the overclock. And you can see my icons are huge at the bottom. I make them bigger anyway, uh, just because I think it looks nicer. But uh, in this instance, it's because I'm running the desktop at 640 by 480 to give it its best chance. There we go. So the steering seems to be okay. Uh, and it's, I think it's flip up the controller to jump or to tight corner. Actually, this, this is going all right. It's not struggling and it does say 100%. So what you're gonna find is some of the easier to run games are gonna run at 100%. I don't know if there's any particular tips or anything on this. Obviously avoid the, uh, the little light fittings or whatever they are. Oh, it would've been nice to have done a jump on that. No starting the image at all. So yeah, really good to see. Let's see if I can do a little jump here. That might not go well. And if I do a little trick, what, what a lovely landing. 
<laughs> anyway, let's quit out of that because that, yeah, just isn't a great game. And what else have we got on here? Temperature's going up 66. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and plug it in as 5 volt. So, oh, and I can't see the shutdown button. So the great thing about the Pi 5 is you have a power button on the front of the Pi 5. And if you press it, shut down, reboot, and log out comes up. So shut down. Make sure it's switched off before touching any GPIO pins. And, uh, oh, and don't touch the fan. And uh, I'm going to move this wire just to the front because that's now on the 5 volt setting. So when I switch it on, it will be a bit noisier, but it will have better cooling. It's still really not bad at all. Okay, so let's try a bit of Mario Kart. See if we can get a decent start, not bad. Doesn't feel too bad, but it is showing as what, 77, 78%. Could do with some things to speed me up. Ooh. That's what we got here. Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, it's definitely too slow. Uh, again, we're looking for that overclock and more optimization. But also, definitely one thing worth mentioning is on a Raspberry Pi, we can get better performance through Android, uh, which is, well, definitely is very noticeable on the Orange Pi. Uh, Android is way, way better for emulation. And uh, so when we get Consta Kang's build or the M Terrier builds, uh, this is going well, isn't it? Uh, then we're going to get a lot better performance on the Raspberry Pi 5. That with overclocking, I think we will be there. I think I think we'll have it where the games will run at full speed and they'll, they'll definitely be worth playing. But for now, Mario Kart isn't, so let's quit out of that. And try a bit of Wii Sports Plus, because I really like the table tennis. I showed a bit of that in my shorts video. All the motion controls seem perfect, yeah, so you know I'm using an actual Wiimote, so I guess that that's good. But it's great that the the Dolphin Bar does such a good job in emulating, and it works with PCs as well and Android devices. And you can also use it with um, like arcade games. I've got a separate video on light gun games on the Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, it's worth having a look at that if you like light gun games. There's loads of things like PlayStation 1 with Time Crisis. There's Dreamcast, which has got some really, really good shooters. Right, let's just configure this. This was a bit slow yesterday, although, was I using 640x480? I can't remember if I was in my shorts video. Okay, and I don't know what's going on with the faces. Okay, the motion control's definitely working well. But it's way too slow. Okay, never mind, we'll do a bit of backspin, we'll do a bit of topspin, we'll see, we should have a bit of an advantage, in that it's so slow, well oh, that was nice, so that works, but again, slow, so let's quit out of that. So Zelda, is that, that's a GameCube game, isn't it, I can't remember if it's a GameCube one or not, it doesn't say GameCube there, let's give it a try. The sound is perfect. But my controller isn't configured properly. So let's just move this out of the way. Will it give me the option? See, normally at the top, I'm going to have to go back, change the resolution. Okay, and just do that. So actually, I'll come back to this at the end because I know it's all working at the moment. And uh, I want to do a bit of Ghost Squad just because it's such a good game. And I'm going to use my light gun for this which is really cool accessory and just really comfortable and all sorts of buttons and joysticks a little reload on the bottom for some games right so arcade and this is so accurate and and really playable and i've got loads of gun games but most of them are actually i bought them on disc when i did the review for uh, wii gun games i just bought loads and loads of gun games and i've kept them so i haven't i haven't got many roms and I actually really like this method. I find it really accurate. Uh, it just is really nice to play with. Oh, did I get? Oh, I get shot the pilot. We're going down.
Oh, missed him. And the reload is to uh, aim off screen to reload this. So as you can see, really, really good. Sound is brilliant. It's just, it's just working perfectly. Someone's gonna run out of here. Sneaky one on the floor. It's just so enjoyable. And uh, also the PlayStation 1 versions, I, I need to try that really. Um, I haven't really done much with that. Oh, what have I got to shoot the panel to choose your tactic? That looks cautionary. Hold your fire. Oh, that was a nice quick shot. Anyway, you can see that's working. Uh, so let's try this Zelda on GameCube. So if I quit out of this, just click on the screen and then quit out of that. And yes, close it down. And then is it gonna let me change the resolution? It's gonna be a bit tricky because I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't let me do it on here, look. That is a bit of a strange one. I wonder if I could do it on dual display. Okay, so let's give Zelda a try. I've managed to get it back up and running again by switching between the two display ports. So if you switch to the second display port, it defaults to 720 or 1080, and you can play around with the settings on that. So that's quite handy to know. We're getting some errors. Nice that you can skip the cutscene. Yeah, that feels absolutely fine. That moves along at a real pace. Yeah, and everything seems to be working all right as well. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so I hope all this helps. I'll definitely be revisiting it uh, to see, you know, when we can overclock and also when we get better graphics drivers and everything. But yeah, that is impressive. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.